YouTube family my name is Vicky so in today video we are going to learn how to restrict user access for a particular region resource now if you are on my channel for the first time make sure you subscribe my channel and if you like this video hit the like button now let's start with the demo so in today demo what we are going to learn is we are going to learn how to restrict a user for a particular region resource access so what I mean here is let's suppose I have machines running in two regions so one is the mumbai region and the other one is the north virginia region so what i need to do is i need to restrict my user in such a way that my user is only going to see the resources or the machines which are running in the mumbai location not the machines which are running in us east one that means the north virginia region now for this demo what all the things we require we require a couple of machines in different region we need one im user and for im user we also need a im policy so let's start now here i am in my aws console so the first thing which i am going to do is i am going to create a machine now the machine which i am going to create i am going to create in mumbai location so let's do that let me click on ec2 now here i have okay here i have one of the instance already in the stop state so the name of that machine is local machine so we are going to use this for this demo let me change the region to north virginia now here i don't have any of the machine running so let me create one machine here i will go with the default options i'm not going to explain all those steps that is something I have already explained in my other video. If you want to see that, you can go and watch that video. I am going to provide you with the link in the description. So I am just going with the default option. Let me create, review and launch. I need to add a tagging. So the tagging which I am going to add machine in US East 1. Review and launch. Launch. Uh, I don't need any key pair right now. Proceed without a key pair. We are done. Let me click on view instance. So one of the machine is running in North Virginia. So from here we can see US East 1. And let me change the region to Mumbai. The other machine is running in AP South 1. That means in Mumbai location. Now what I need to do is I need to go to the IM because I need to create a user. Now here we need to go to the user. Now let me click on add user. And let me create a user with the name demo dash user. I will go with the password AWS management console access. Here I will give the custom password right now. I don't want to reset the password let me click on next permission as of now I'm not going to attach any policy to this user we are going to create a policy so create user now this user is created now what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into this user so how we are going to log into this user we need to copy this and we need to open a new tab make sure you are going to open a incognito mode otherwise what will happen your root user is going to log out so new private window let me enter now here you need to enter the username demo user and the password So here I logged in. Now what I need to do is let me increase the size a bit so that we can see. Let me increase it one more time. Okay. Now we are good. Right now I am in Oregon region. What I need to do is I need to go to the North Virginia. And here I need to go to the EC2 service. As of now, I'm getting API error. So that means I don't have access to this. And we know why we don't have access because while creating this user, we have not assigned any of the policy. That is the reason this user has no access. We are getting the API error. 
great now the next thing which i need to check that is i need to go to the mumbai location here again i am getting the api error now my task is to for this user this demo user i need to assign a policy so that this demo user is able to see the machines which are running in mumbai location okay only in the mumbai location not in the north virginia region so let me now here we need to create a policy so how to create a policy we need to go to the identity and access management here we need to go to the policy and here we have the option to create a policy now once i am here i have two option either we can go with the visual editor or with the json i already have a script uh, not script i already have a json file with me which i can paste it here so let me show it to you so here is the one we need to remove the space now here we need to restrict the user to ap south 1 now let's understand this json policy in detail so here the action is for ec2 start that means this policy is providing access for the ec2 everything in the ec2 that means this user is able to stop the machine this user is able to attach a tag attach a volume everything th this user is able to do resource on every resource affect is allow and there is a condition where it says strings is string is equal to ec2 region ap south 1 so that means this policy is providing access to ec2 complete access to ec2 but only in this ap south 1 okay now let's suppose if you need to create a policy with the help of the visual editor how you can do that so for that let me remove this thing and let me go to the visual editor now now here we have four option service action resource request condition so from the service let me select ec2 now in the ec2 what i am going to do is i am going to provide all the action in the ec2 let me click on close here now resources i want to go for all the resources now here we have the request condition and in the request condition we have the mfa required source ip and add condition so what we need to do is we need to click on this add condition now what exactly the condition is from here we need to select the region name so for that ec2 region this is the thing we need to search in the condition so ec2 let me scroll down a bit ec2 region here we will go with the default value now here we have also choice like we can go for any value in the request or we can go for all the value in the request i will go with the default option generally we go with the default option we are not going to change this option now the operator so here we have string equal string not equal null string not like string like so from this window i'm going to select string is equal to value now here we need to provide the region name so ap south 1 and now if i go to the json again i will get the same policy okay now let me click on next if we need to add any of the tag we can do that and let's give a policy name so restrict user access okay and you can also add a description here which is very important but as of now i'm not going to add now we have created the policy the next thing is we need to attach this newly created policy to our user so let me go to the demo user and how we can attach a policy for that we need to go to the add permission we need to go to the third tab which is attach existing policy now from here we need to search for our policy now i can give the name here like this and i will get my policy or i can go to the filter option and select custom manage here it is going to show me my policy so let me check this thing next review add permission we are done 
so here i am going to see the policy is attached now let me go to my incognito tab now here i am in mumbai location so let me refresh this thing great i am able to see the instances here let me click here i am able to see the instance and let me see if i am able to perform any action for this let me click on start yes i am able to start this instance as well great now let me go to the instance ec2 dashboard now let me change this region to north virginia see i am getting the api error i'm not able to see the machine running here as well i'm getting the api error okay now let me go back to this mumbai location so here i can see one of the machine is in the running state let me click here and let me try to stop this machine yes i'm able to stop this machine as well so that means i have complete permission in the mumbai region whereas whereas i don't have any access in the other region so that is how we can you know restrict a user for a particular region access i hope you like this video if you like this video do subscribe my channel and hit the like button